Hello, everyone. Hello. Welcome to Gloomhaven. Gloomhaven. Actually, welcome to Board Game House. We're just playing Gloomhaven tonight. Has a glare on the box. Hello, Seth Belmont. It's worse. I'm, I'm, I'm trying to fix it. I don't know if I can actually fix it because I was You're not going to be able to. Just leave it alone. It's fine. Gloomhaven noises. Hello, hello. Uh, so tonight we are playing Gloomhaven. First of all, we're Board Game House. We're a group of three friends who play board games on the internet. Hey guys, we're Board Game House. I just thought I'd say it too. I didn't say it. Well, you did. No. Okay, well, you can say it now. No. Right. <laughs> uh, before we begin, a few quick announcements. Um, Derek, do you have anything on Kickstarter you want to talk about? Nah. Oh, uh, if you haven't watched Worm Life yet, spoilers, Hex Vaults. Coming to Kickstarter in June. <laughs> spoilers. This is a board game house. Yes, Billy. Is this uh, board game house? Never! Uh, oh, no. Other things that are going on. Um... Do you know where we're at? <laughs> 383. It's right there in the corner. You didn't give me enough chance. We are sitting at 383 followers, which means we are only 17 away from our goal of 400 followers. Excuse me while I try and remember how to play this. <laughs> So anyone that is new uh, that hasn't been with us so far, we finished our playthrough of Betrayal Legacy, so now we are starting a new Legacy game, which we are doing Gloomhaven, uh, which is a heavy game, but it's kind of like a, a guided D&D. &D. So we, guided D&D, &D, that's even more confusing. We barely escaped by the <laughs> skin of our teeth uh, on that first run through, and now we're going to do- I died. You were knocked unconscious. You didn't die. I was knocked unconscious. How do you die? Uh, you don't actually die. You cannot die. Um, but yeah, so we barely survived the first encounter. Hi, so Scottios. We are gonna be doing it. We're gonna be doing our second encounter the, uh, this time. Uh, hopefully, we will be less stressed off the first encounter. <clears throat> if you all have played. Please feel free to tell us when we're doing something wrong, because that's what happened to us when we played the last game that we played, Betrayal. Yes. So. We appreciate it. As long as you're not rude about it, we're pretty, we appreciate it. And I'm not going to rush out of here this time. <laughs> Although I could. They're watching Detective Pikachu at the movie theater tonight, but. No, you're going to stay here. Um, you do not get a birthday pass tonight. <laughs> Did you just put that through your beard? Alright. Uh, so, uh, Scotty, I am playing the Brute. Don't forget, you can discard a card from your hand to negate all incoming damage. Yeah, we did that several times. Yeah, we did that several times and still barely succeeded. I am playing the Orchid Spellweaver. I guess we could do that in a minute, but you asked, so. And Derek, what are you playing? I have no idea. You're the Tinkerer. But I don't know what he's called. It, open your box. If you open you. your, his name is Scourge. If you open your box, it'll tell you. See, while I was getting all my stuff out, you two were just, oh no, gawking. a quadrille. Just gawking. Stress mode set to zero. For now, until we start playing and I start panicking. All right, so we completed our first. Quest. So now we're heading out to number two, which, what was this one called? I don't remember. The depths of the first one. The depths of the first one. Definitely not Accurate. Me. Oh my goodness. I gotta get better boxes for these. Man, my stuff I just <laughs> tossed all my shit in here, so it's all together. Billy? Aww. <laughs> I 
wish I could find twenty dollars in my couch. Billy, what a lucky son of a bitch! You're one of my favorite people. Unless he's lying <laughs> and just being nice. Do you guys use the Gloomhaven helper app? We don't. There's a helper app. There is a helper app, and it basically gets rid of all of the need for all of the markers and things. The oh, reason, just like Mansions of Madness. I don't like that. The reason why I didn't even bring it up to you two is because because we stream it. Um, I want everybody at home to be able to see where we're at and what we're doing. And I'm afraid with the app, we don't have the ability yet to get it into onto the screen and stuff for everybody my, else. My iPad or something yeah, to connect with the iPad to do it. So for now, we're sticking with the playable pieces here, the tactile pieces. So. But I was, I did, I did see that there was a Gloomhaven helper app, and I there's immediately like three or four. I mean, well, there's one like specifically like from them, and I like jumped on it, and then I was like, oh wait, no, we can't really use that on stream. So, and that's the only time we're playing this is on stream. Do you have extra parts? Yes. Those are the ones that I can't add into my deck yet. Oh, you took them out of the plastic. I took them out of the plastic. What plastic? And I just had such trouble getting them into the handy here because it falls through this uh, part right here. You should only have your 20 starting And you took it out. Games. All right. What is the difference? Hmm? Five, you should only have four, four, five, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. All of your cards should have a one in the corner 15, of them. 20. And you should have 20 cards stolen. Mine have twos. What? Then you should not have those cards in there yet. But wouldn't that be player two? No. I don't think so. Does, I don't do all yours have threes? I literally don't have, have any other color, any other cards. How many cards How many cards total do you have, Derek? I don't know. Hi, Arleo. The, I will say that these back half all have tinker things on them. That might be worth it for the setup and the take, the setup and takedown. I'm going to look into that off stream. Maybe so for the next You should just have the, you, you have just a st the starting 20? I took out all the ones With that the had gear. that gear on it. Okay. Cool, cool, cool. Okay, so. Shall I switch screens now? You shall switch screens, although we don't need this because we're not here. Well, I mean, but we can put the sticker on it for the second place that we are right now. We're not in a second place right now. We're, we're yeah. in the catacombs of this. Warren, we're just going deeper. We're in number two. We're in location two. Oh, well, I don't have the stickers up here because I didn't think we needed it. I can grab them real quick. It's not a big deal. I will have to do that. Oh no, that was scary. There you go. All right, shall we set up this? Shall we explain where we are or what happened last well, time? E sure, we didn't. I mean, we didn't uh, switch over yet. And I'm still in. There was a dungeon. There were bandits in the dungeon. They almost killed us. And Megan died, and then Stephen and I only had one more turn. But in that one turn, I was able to kill all the sons of bitches. But we didn't get to go Actually, into the last I room. Killed them. I killed the last ones. I don't remember that. But we weren't <laughs> able to go into the last room, and there was a bunch of coins and a treasure chest in there. But we didn't have extra turns to go and get that stuff. So now it's just sitting there, and no one can get it. But we're moving on to the second one, which is like stairs down into the depths of the dungeon that we were already in. So dungeon level two. All right. So we'll switch over to the main screen. All right. I need to adjust the brightness because you guys can't see a dang thing right now. A dang thing. Died, but not died. Yeah, hilarity. Hilarity did not ensue because, let's be real, Megan was getting very, very frustrated. I'm going to attempt to not do that this time. I don't know what cards I get. Hmm. You get all. Uh, you get the first. You get. I believe you get. Uh, you get whatever your starting is. Like I get ten cards, which is I think everything that I have available to me. Oh, because you opened up these ones as well. Yeah. Uh, you get the ones that have the one on them. The ones that have the one. Okay. Yeah, one at the top. Okay, so that's these. I shouldn't read the names of them because I'm like, no, these sound like something I had last time. With the one on them and the X. Uh, no, not the X, it's just the one. 
The X's added in later. We could add the X's in, but I feel like we should do at least one more with just these ones because the X's had a more challenging element to it that I'm not sure that we're ready for. But we almost died. Is it a heal for you too? I don't know. I haven't looked at it, but I'm just saying that with these ones, we almost died. We need something else. Yeah, I have a big old heal right on top. Yeah. I have recover cards on the top. Okay, so. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. HP. Six. Guys, I know I made up a, a voice for Scourge last time, but I just don't have the strength. Well, we're all still getting over our um, <clears throat> whatever it was. But we are in full health tonight, mostly. You may hear us coughing every once in a while, but that's just the end of the crud. Does everyone still have their notes? Yes. All right. Derek got to read it last time. I get to read it this time. It was my birthday. I know. Don't be salty about I'm it. I'm not being salty. I don't feel like I was being salty at all. Requirements. First steps. Party. Complete. Did we do that? Yeah, that's our party achievement. So, we're doing the Burrow Lair, right? Barrow Lair. Which is number two. Number, if you want to put this on? Modifier. Yeah. Okay. The cards that are smaller. Sorry, I'm reading the notes from Scadios. Add the level two cards down. <gasps> we can add the level two cards. No, when you hit when level you two. When you hit level two. He says, when you hit second level. When you we're hit not second, in second level, level. We're this, not second level. Is yet. this not the second level? No, this is the second scenario. We need forty-five XP to hit second level. They need to be more clear. They, it's very clear. This is the second level. <laughs> no. That was put on there so poorly. Hang on. Uh, this is the worst part. I'm sorry. I'm too much of a perfectionist to let these stop. See, even Scotty was correcting you. I, I, there. He was the one that was unclear. So good. So good. Okay. Guys, I DM'd for the first time last night. It okay. was terrifying. Was it terrifying? Terrifying. Okay. Did your players have fun? I don't know. Did you not ask them? No. You have to ask for feedback. Clay gave me feedback. No. That's Scotty, it's not your fault. No one... I've never asked anyone to apologize to me. Okay. Go kill the bandit commander and all of you then. Didn't we already kill a bandit commander? No. There's another bandit commander? Yes. The stench of death and rotting flesh gets thicker as you pass the corpses of your foes and head deeper into the underground burial site. Guided by the muffled sounds of conversation, you find your way through this maze of crypts and burst into a small room of hard-faced bandits with all bows at the ready. They're clearly guarding something. You must be in the right place. Special rules. Add three curse cards to each character's attack modifier deck as a scenario effect. Curse cards? What does that mean? <laughs> um, Excellent. I'm not sure also, you know, we haven't talked about this. Fox. Our Gloomhaven, I just saw it pop up. Don't. No. <laughs> Our Gloomhaven streams are being sponsored by kickstartedgames.com. Alright, so what is that? So we need any curse cards? Curse cards! Three curse cards to each character's attack modifier deck as a scenario effect. Okay. First, we need those pieces up here as well. <coughs> oh, <coughs> curse cards! Sorry. L dot lachaim to your family. What in the world? Enter. Thank you. 
There's a limit of them. There's some with stars and some with M's, I believe. The M's are meant to be added to the monster deck. Well, we have the M's. No, it says five. Those are here. Uh -huh. These are the They have M's. stars, right? Um, yeah, it says stars. Well, this I think is, this is... It, is that what I'm looking for there, Scotty? That is what you are looking for. That's hmm. what you're looking for. Okay, so we need three for each of us. There's three for Derek. Well, these are zeros. Exactly, they're curses. I don't want this. And three for me. Curses. Do they not understand that we barely got through the first round? Okay, yeah, so we need the M cards. Yep. Yeah, okay. I understand what's happening now. I completely understand what's going on. I feel like that's, that's... sarcasm. It's fine. Everything's fine. What do curses mean? This is fine. Can't we just play Ticket to Ride? <laughs> if a figure is cursed, it must shuffle a curse card into its remaining attack modifier deck. When this card is revealed through one of the figure's attacks, it is removed from the deck instead of being placed into the attack modifier discard pile. Okay, so it just takes up space right now. It just takes up space. Okay, that's not bad. Could have been a way worse curse. Way worse curse. Okay, so we do need doors and stuff. Well, we need to take off the... And we need, I need to figure out where we are. Okay, hang on. Well, did you, did you, we haven't even read the whole scenario. I did read the whole scenario. Did I you? read everything that I was Those supposed bandits. to read. When we walk down the stairs, they have their bows drawn. I read everything I was supposed to read. Okay. Por qué es de stairs? So we're coming in from up here. Yes, we are. So what do we what do we need as far as items? Oh, I keep I keep I keep dropping things. Y'all, we're so professional. <gasps> the new emotes are here. Yes, they are. They are. <gasps> Yay! That's okay. That's amazing and terrifying at the same time. Not gonna lie. All right. <laughs> There's not enough room. <laughs> so what do we need? I'm sorry. I'm trying to still try to get my situation. I don't have an extra table over here, and or a floor <laughs> to put things. This little guy reminds me from yeah. reminds me of Flick from A Bug's Life. Can you put this stuff over there too? Okay. All right. 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 Okay. So we need. We're up there. Mm -hmm. We need two stun traps. What do they look like? Um. Like that? No. Yes. Wait. What does the back look like? No, they look like that. Okay, and Derek, you're the one who helped set this up last time, so you can help me remember how to do this. Sure. It's the top right corner. Top right corner? Correct. So we only need one archer. That's what that says to me. This is a black one, right? It's no, only... it's the white one. Oh, it's the white ones. Yeah. Not... Okay. So we need three banded archers. Okay, do I do this? Yep. Yeah. And these are just regular archers, so there's the bases. Okay. Sorry, you all. This is part of it. This is us discovering what we're going up against right. as we walk down the stairs. This is monster monsters. There are no Ooh. people in here. There are people in there, see? I made sure to put all ones with similar backgrounds in bags together. Does anybody have the broken token organizer for this game? Because more and more you're thinking that you want it. Oh, I already decided when we got it that that was something I wanted, but because I so love the one that we got for Terraforming Mars. Three Hi. archers. Okay. Und um, three hill giants. Living corpses. Might as well get six of those, seven of those, eight, seven, eight of those out. No. If it's white or yellow. Three, six, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 
Cool. I'm not. Three, six, nine, ten. Why did you not stop me on that? <laughs> ten of them. Wait. Three, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten. I said skeleton. I'm not seeing shock traps anymore. We need two more archers. There are no living bones yet. We will need them though. I do think that these are it. Right there, that one. That's what I pulled up. That's not what you pulled up the first time. That's what you pulled up the first time. Oh, okay, fair. Traps. Archers. One. Oh, we need doors. We need a door. We need doors. Three. We'll need another archer to you. These are ones for later. We haven't seen these yet. What in the heck are the doors? Is that a door? No. Yeah, it's a double door. There's a door. Door. We need four doors. Five doors. <laughs> Do you need skeleton? We will eventually. I don't know how many, though. This is going to go so well. So well. You know, we tried to get this at least sort of. You said ten set up. of the bodies. Yeah. If you don't, if there's no more than that, then just then it's fine. Two. Yeah, I'm only finding six. So you can only have six. There you go. You got it. Okay. Then we need... Well, it's probably because they don't all show up at the same time. The sarcophagus? Sarcophagi? Well, we don't need to all this up till... No, but we still need it out. So we're not fumbling through bags when we get there. There are three sarcophagi. Bye, box! We'll see you in a little bit. What's happening? All right. Welcome to Queen Haven. <laughs> All right. And then oh, well, speaking of, let me put some music on so that way it's not. Mm -hmm. Bandit Commander. Just one. Oh, it's right here. Okay. Is it actually in there or is that actually a boss? I would have put it probably in here. We might need to turn it down just a little bit. Somebody else can do it. I don't know how many of these we're going to need. What, boss commander? No, living bones. He's already got a bunch of yeah. those, so. Yeah. I have to end up the. the cause I, don't, I didn't boss. see any bosses in there. The only people that are in there are, are guys with daggers and guys with bows. I just don't know why I would have put it somewhere else because it because has. Because it has a different shape. It's big. But it, no, that's not what I'm worried about. It's the background that I did. That's what I based everything on, was the backgrounds of the. Well, here it is. Did you find it? Okay. Okay. You'll be later. Okay. Oh no, I dropped one. Okay. So I'm alive, right? Yes. Okay. Uh, we are doing bandit archers right now, right? Yes. Bandit archers, and I don't remember how this works. So. I'm going to bring this, move this out of the way. I'm going to set this out of the way because we don't need it right now. So, right here is all their base stuff. So, the band archers we're going to face have a base health of four, a okay. base movement of two, a base range of three, and a base attack of two. Right. I think that before we do this, we should pass out the goals for the level. You still have these? Goals no, no, no. The, the, the separate check mark goals. Something that's passed out before everyone. Mm -hmm. I didn't get those out. I'm sorry. Yeah, right there. 
So we each get two and we have to decide on one. So that you don't get the one that you're supposed to. Daedalus insert. What is that, Scotty? Probably just a different company. All right. All right. Everyone has their health set to their correct amount. Six. Mine's right. ten. And all of our, and actually set your experience back to zero because you get back to zero. Yeah, because you get new experience points, and you just add them to what you have. Okay. There's also a um, chest in one of these rooms, but yeah, but that's easy to get out. All right. How many of these do we get at a time? You get as many as in your upper corner. Eight. Should so be all my all cards. Of them. Yeah, it's all of them. cool. Okay, I am actually going to have both of my things on this time. I'm gonna take both of my items. Did you not last time? But no, I didn't have my. I didn't use my high armor. Why? Because if I use it, I have to add things into my deck. Actually, I need to do that. Actually. I'm going to start here. That's a monstrous deck. Uh, do any of those top two rows? Yeah, these two spaces or these two spaces. This game, I really like this game so far, but it's very stressful. Also, this layout right now looks like a baby. I find it far too difficult. I mean, am I going to run up and be a tank? Is that what I'm doing? I don't know. Where do you want to start your character? Well, that's what I'm saying. I can start, I can start here. Sure. You can start there if you want. Okay. Well, we're going to add those in there and shuffle these. <gasps> Doge! Billy, the Doge bits! Doge bits! Some of them are going in the cup. The less... The less edges on them, the more they go in the cup. Yeah. There you go. Now we see. <laughs> now we see a follower to just make the whole thing explode. Tell your friends. Tell your wife. The Doge goes where Doge wants. How many do right. we get in a hand? Uh, however many we just talked about that. However many. Oh, all of them. Yeah. All right. So archers. So they need this deck. And their numbers. What? And then how oh, do we, how do we... Side who goes first? Yeah. You put two down, the one you have on top when you flip that's it over. Right, that's, that's right, that's right, that's right. I remember now. And it's lowest. Hmm? Lois. Okay. Okay. What's their health situation? Four? Four, yes. Okay. And you don't want to do things that discard your cards. Not at the beginning. If you can, does this arm actually disarm a trap? No, they just cannot attack. things laid out. 
Why does she? Why does she hate Gloomhaven? Because it's. Is it because it's kind of complicated? Because I'll be honest, that's the reason why I struggle with it. Actually, it's not even that it's complicated. It's just a that's lot. That's the thing. It's just a lot. There's just a lot. And I feel like the more you play it, the better you get with it. And our problem is that we're going to be Always. playing it every other week. And see, that's the problem. It's only going to be every other week. So it's going to take at least like four to five streams to really kind of... Yeah. All right. So everyone has their stuff out. So first I'm going to reveal what the, archer, what the archers have. They have an initiative of 16, but they're negative one attack, which is nice. I did that wrong. Okay. So everyone flip over just your top card. <laughs> Seven. Ten. Eighteen. Fuck me. Okay, now I can use these in whatever order I want. Just Go. for the record, my thing was supposed to help everybody. Doesn't know. What do you mean? You and all adjacent allies add plus one attack to all your attacks this round. Can't do well, it though. You could actually change the order. You could actually just change the order of what you're doing. No, then I have to get rid of this card. No, I instead, instead of doing that, you could do the move. I, for, I forgot about that. Just do move two. I forgot that was a thing. What? They do top and bottom? Yes. Well, you can always do the bottom action of one. So instead, like if you want to use that attack, just move two. And you don't have to discard the card then. Okay. You only have to discard the card when you use this action. Can you move through a space if I'm in it? Yes. Yes. Okay. Allies aren't obstacles. Okay. They just can't land on that space. They can't finish their movement on that space. Okay. If people want to say hello to you, hello, Angel Wings, hello, Fuzzy Logic, how are you guys? I feel so dumb. Why? Because I didn't realize this. I, I just feel dumb. Take your turn, son. I'm trying. I'm trying to decide what to do because oh, I was going to do fine. something else. You're waiting. No, I forgot that I had to do a top and bottom, so I'm struggling now because... In this game, everyone tops and bottoms. So you can actually immobilize them? Yeah. So I guess what I'll do is I'll... Yeah, it's pretty nice. Use this one to move to because I'm stupid. One, two, and then I'm going to attack three. With two? With this one. So it attack, but it, but I target all adjacent enemies. So just the one then? Yeah, just the one you're adjacent yeah. to. Okay, and that, which number is that? Number three? Number three and number one? Nope. No, no more than uh, adjacent to you. I thought... If you were here, you'd be adjacent. Wait, and I don't want to do that. Mm -hmm. oh, it's fine, I'll just do that, it's fine. Whatever. Okay, well actually wait, you gotta do a modifier. Yeah, for your I attack. Know. Plus zero. Okay, so he gets two damage. I just did this whole. I just wasted this whole turn. I'm sorry. No, you didn't. Yes, I did. You immobilized him. I didn't understand. I forgot how so things were. So, was immobilized? Right. He has. He has can't be immobilized. Cannot move. Remove at the end of the next turn. So you still do things. You just can't use this movement. Yeah. <sighs> okay. So I am next. That's okay. So I have, I'm going to do a, I can have a movement of four. I don't need it though. So one, two. two. I'm not going in the door. What? I thought you were going through the door. <laughs> um, and then I'm going to do attack two and disarm. 
And I think what I'm going to do is going to do attack two on the uh, number five. Because that way he can't attack us. So the other two can still attack us, but that way we have two down at one at one health each. So, Billy, will you film it, please? And the other thing is that because I'm right in their grill, both of them are going to have disadvantage. Yeah. Hello, hello, hello. Why? Because they're range attacked and they're using a melee weapon. It says that in the rules. If you are adjacent to somebody and you're using a range attack, it's a disadvantage. All right, so I need to flip over one of these for my attack. Minus one, awesome. So this goes on number five, and he is considered disarmed. Why'd you do five? What? Did you need to put a one? Oh, yeah, sure, I'm sorry. But you could be my monkey. I think it would be funny. Dancing. All right. So now it is their turn. So we now need to flip over one of these for them. Did we shuffle all these? I don't know. Maybe. <laughs> no, well, if the soup's at the cleanest, then obviously you can't do it. All right, so um, the first one that we flip over is going to be for this guy because he's not adjacent to anyone. No, it's just one for everyone. Doesn't he move, though? Hmm? He has nowhere to move. He moves to the closest enemy. He's range. He, he's within range. He's not going to move. I don't think that's how it works. I don't remember. And it's just one card for each group of enemies. I remember Correct, that. but he's not at disadvantage. These two are at disadvantage. Sure. So one of them needs one card. The other one's gonna need two cards. Okay. Monster turn. Fifty-nine to thirty-three. Those enemies bigger. The first possible to get range on the last site. And if you close to the matter monster, can't get within range of attack. If it's currently made of monster, it's possible to get within range. Monster does not have an attack listed. Mm. So he has to get within range. And their range is three, so he's already within range. Yeah, they're already within range. Hi guys, I'm gonna die! <clears throat> Actually. Now this is gonna be, now this is where we have to make a judgment call. That guy is gonna shoot. Is gonna go for me. This one can either try to shoot me at disadvantage, or he can try to shoot Derek because he's within range and not at disadvantage. So which way would monster? What which way would the? I believe it has to be whatever whoever's closest. Closest. So it would go after either you or I. Will you just see if there's anything about unless it would create disadvantage? Hmm. Doesn't say anything about disadvantage of wait for it. They will only move toward a hex where it is within range to perform its best possible attack. A monster will also move away from its focused enemy until it can perform the arranged attack without disadvantage. When forced to choose, a monster will prioritize losing disadvantage on its focused enemy over maximizing its attack on its on secondary targets. So yes, it would actually choose Derek. Um, however, number one is actually going to go after me. Why? I'm closer. No, you're not. We're tied for closest. Oh, because you went first. Because I went first, it's going to go after me. Okay. Hey, MJC. Hi, MJC. <laughs> Can I have? Never mind. I'll get it. 
All right. So. Just like number five would go after me. Awesome. So it takes it up to its regular attack. Yeah. So you guys both take two damage. Great. Oh. Huh? Two damage. And Derek, it is your turn, sir. <laughs> um. So uh, first, I'm going to do you and all adjacent allies at plus one to uh, attack to all your attacks this round. So I'm going to do that. So I get plus one. Okay. Anything else happen with that? Or... And plus another one. Nice. Uh, and then my range is three, so I'm going to attack number three. Well, you get that much. Do you want to attack number one since he hasn't been attacked yet? Wait. What? The archers are doing melee attacks. They're not doing ranged attacks. That's just their attack. That's their range. That's their attack modifier, which is equal to this. That's just the symbol for attack. Oh. This is what their range is. Okay. Because mine, it tells me. Yeah, see, you have an attack to range of three. Okay. And then this With... one is just an attack to. Correct. So that one's a melee attack. I'm going to fling my toxic bolt at number three. You want to kill number three or do you want to kill number one? Because you can kill him straight off. Wait. Oh, wait, number five didn't go. Never mind. Why didn't number five go? Because he was disarmed. Sure. <sighs> because right now, what do you attack? What's your power of attack right now? Four. Yeah, so you can literally kill number one. But number three can attack me. Let's go for number one. Next turn. So we have a chance of all of us going before them again. Okay, I will attack number one, and he's dead. If you want to attack three, then attack three. No, it's fine. I'll kill number one, and the green the green thing goes up. Also, he's poisoned, but he's dead. Okay. That guy is dead. Okay. That's round one. These two go away. Uh huh. <coughs> Excuse me. All right. So these are just not lost. They are just used. So start looking into Gen Con events today. I got through Thursday at noon to the end of the day. Because I figured we Thursday morning we would go to the floor to see what's happening. Mm -hmm. So I didn't even worry about the morning stuff. Mm -hmm. uh, opens at 8. No, the no, floor, con at floor 10. opens at 10. We always got there at 8, so we would be the first ones on the first floor. First floor 10, and then... 
three hours until lunch. Mm-hmm. I, I figured we might want to do our first thing in like two or so. Back to the floor. Found some really cool things. Uh, for those of you who like Robo Rally when we played it, there is an event. It's $16 per person, which kind of sucks, but it allows you to play Robo Rally with actual robots. Oh, we watched him do it. We that watched him do it. Yeah, I found I found it. Mm-hmm. It's really cool. Like it's little like foot tall robots that roll around. That's that's really cool. And you program them on your on their like iPad. They have like tablets of some sort. Uh, you can program them. I also found you found Giant Catan, which I'm super excited about. I also found Giant Castle Panic, which I thought could be really fun. Hmm. Right. See you, MJC. Bye. They also have all kinds of tournaments and stuff with all kinds of games we played. Yeah, I found a Mystic Veil tournament, which I'm really tempted to enter. I also found a Carcassonne tournament. There's a Catan tournament. So the Catan tournament is actually a national qualifier. Hmm. We have a national qualifier. No, the Mystic Veil is. The Mystic Veil is a national qualifier. They're mm-hmm. both men. They're both. Yeah. They must both be then. All right. All right. So. Ready Thank to... you, MJC. Have a good evening. Ready to reveal our our power? Him first. 56, like a dick. 20. I don't remember which one I put on top. 36. Okay. So I get to go first. I'm not mad about this. Alright. Um, so they, they get a minus one to their attack, but they target two people. Is what that means. Okay. Alright. So I am going to first. Megan, you're within one of me, right? Uh-huh. You heal too. Woohoo, thank you. Oh wait, which which one you went the green one went up? The green one. Well, it just went back up. Um <coughs> excuse me. This is round two. Oh yeah. And my modifier. If we don't do it in twelve rounds, we're done. I don't really know what that means. So I am attacking number three, and my modifier is negative one. So he is dead because I still get to attack two. Okay. Which one is? Hmm? Which one is? Three. Three? Okay. Can I have a point please? Okay. And that is my turn. Next is uh, Derek. I heal myself. Cool, cool, cool. And then I attack The uh, second thing you do on this, anything good? You can move. Can't do anything. Oh no, the top part's always attack. Could you buy the other one? Yep, can't do anything. Alright, that's fine. Megan! Um. Okay, well, I wasn't entirely expecting to. him for both of them to still be alive. But I'm going to attack, I guess, that guy. Okay, you have range attack? Yes, I have a ranged attack. Fire up two. I wish that would have come later. So he's super dead. Okay. And then I have a move three, mm-hmm. which I'm currently deciding to decide if I want to go pick up coins or open the door. <laughs> pick up coins. <laughs> so one, two, I guess. Let's stop there. Okay. Coins. All right. That is the end of that round. They're all dead. So now we can do another round of free movement, more or less. Well, we could actually move and then open the door. Derek, do you have anything that's going to get you up to be with us? Or is it going to take you two rounds to get up to us? Mm, yeah, I can get up there. Okay. I'm gonna leave that other coin for you so if you can end on that coin, you pick it up. I'll grab another I'll turn with Yeah, I can finish there. Okay. Um So, I got my 
two. Okay. This one's down. This is round three. Mm hmm. Well, balls. Not version done. Oh. Oh, J Town. I mean, I know going from Juneau, Alaska is a far, far travel. <laughs> If, yeah, if there's any way you can go, man, it is so, so worth it. So worth it. I'm super excited. Plus, we're having a meetup. We are having a meetup. Uh, if anybody missed that announcement. It was announced officially. We are having a meetup with us and Wormwood on the Saturday at 8 p.m. The Neighborwood. <laughs> where we'll have food and drinks and... Hey, Liz. <laughs> super excited. <laughs> Um, if you are going to Gen Con and you're interested in going, please let myself or actually Librarian Liz uh, know just so we can kind of get a rough head count. Um, I know right now we're already up to almost like 30 people that are going to be there. Um, you can be, the three of us are going to be there, Clay's going to be there, I know a couple of our mods are going to be there. Um, but will they tell you who they are? <laughs> Probably not. <laughs> Whoops. So oh, okay, well they just... You were very wrong. <laughs> And no hugs for Derek. <laughs> I don't know you people. Hi, X Guffer. Hello. Raises his hand and jumps up and down obnoxiously. <laughs> uh, but also, it looks like uh, Bobby's going to be there. Probably Gates will be there. And even though he hasn't been told officially yet, I'm pretty sure that uh, uh, Paulie's going to be there as well. Can we link the Wormwood Discord? Yeah, of course. Sure, why not? I mean, I think most people here care. are both places anyways. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, there's we have the Gen Con thing in our Discord, and then they also have they have a Con Meetup thing in their Discord. So just let us know. Oh, uh, Agent Wings is going to be there. Yep. With their sister. Awesome. Yeah. Also, like, also if you can, with like, at some point, like in Discord or something, just let us know if you're coming, and we'll probably do like a little poll or something, just so you guys can say, yeah, I'm coming, and I'm bringing like five people with me, just so we have a rough head count of who's all going to be there. <laughs> Excuse me, sorry. Sposer. Sorry about that. <laughs> All right, mommy, I love you. <laughs> so flip over. I did it right this time, guys. Okay, sixty-two. Twenty-seven. Twenty. 20. Megan, you're going first. You guys aren't gonna like me. Are you open the door? I had planned on opening the door. Go for it. Because my other one is a movement of eight. Oh wait, no, I don't want to do that yet. Hmm? Wait, how do you... Oh, card, these are last night. That card gets discarded. Yeah. So just me too. Well, I have a thing that'll get it back. Well, oh, no, I wouldn't do that. I would save it. I mean, if you want to open the door, open the door. Two, yeah. two opens the door. Okay, I open the door. Da, da. Oh, where to go? Where to go? Where to go? Where to go? Three tables. No, sarcophagus. Sarcophagus. Bunch of bitches. A sarcophagus. Archer. And a big archer. Wait, a sarcophagus here. Where? Up here. Here. And here. Mm -hmm. And then the big guy. Okay. You open the door to a crypt large crypt, littered with coffins. At the back stands your quarry. He fits the description, but there is something previously unnoticed in his eyes. A dark, otherworldly force. Who are you to think you can interrupt the work of the gloom? A dark energy engulfs his hands as he speaks. I will show you what you are dealing with. Uh, I'm glad I'm staying in the other room. Special rules. Doors A, B, C, and D are locked and can only be opened by the bandit commander. Okay. The bandit commander immediately jumps into a door hex, regardless of how far away it is, and opens it, revealing the adjacent room. Starting with A. The bandit commander jumps to a door in the order of A, B, C, D, and then back to A. The bandit commander summons one normal living bones for two characters, or one li elite living bones for three or four characters. Where's he go? It doesn't say. Right here. Nope, those are living corpses. Hmm? Is that me what this is? 
Nope, those are archers. Those are archers. That's the conclusion. I don't want to read that. Okay, well, we have Bandit Commander. What's 8 times C mean? 8 times C. Oh, that's on his turn. He moves to the next door, and then he summons Living Bones. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. He moved to the door, he summoned the bones. Well, it's not his turn yet. Yeah. But it said immediately he moves to a door and summons the bones. That's what you read. That's no, his special, that's special one. That's his special. That's his when, special. His special when it happens, it's not his turn. It oh. happens on his turn. I thought you said it happened immediately. Well, that it means it's boss special. It, he will immediately jump to a door. Oh. So, like, he'll jump over there. Sure. Okay. Well, these are gone. And I'm actually going to change out the sleeve. Because this one has a lot less. Uh, we still need the archers, though. Hmm? Yeah, we still need yeah, the archers. Yeah, but we could possibly get a lot more archers. Huh? Oh, I forgot that they had the number of number of creatures. Sorry. Okay. Aha! There we go. Let's change out for this. I had Chipotle. I have more Chipotle. I kind of want to use more Chipotle. Seems like a good uh, a good thing. Yeah, Chipotle is always the answer. Ooh, pierogies. Pierogies are so good. Ooh, chicken enchilada pot pie. Dude, you all are killing me. Okay, These so are eight really... times eight times C. I don't know what eight times C means. I do not know either. Let me look in the rule book and see if it tells me what this is with the box. Come on. Wait, librarian Liz, you're a real librarian? <laughs> How interessante. Nope, oh, just a gaming tag. Fox Kalina, it's not just your hot take. <laughs> Derek. <laughs> yes. I don't know. assume people's... I don't assume <laughs> that people are going to assume that why I'm a doctor I, when they read my why name. Why would I lie about being a librarian? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Monster attacks. A monster will attack on a turn with X plus attack plus or minus X as part of the ability card. Other monster abilities. Is there some about bosses there? Bosses! All bosses of their own stack card will act as a universal boss ability card deck. I feel like if I was a librarian, I'd just sit there the and wait for kids to come in so I can normal. make them play D&D. &D. Boss has often based on the number of characters, which is signified by the letter C. So, three. Three. So, he has a total health of oh, is, that the, is that the grilled cheese? Mmm, yes. Sorry, I was looking at something else. Barbecue grilled cheese. Oh, Jesus. Three. Eight times three, so he has 20... Eight. Uh, 24. Four health. I am so excited for I'm a mixture asked. of barbecue and grilled cheese. So we gotta kill him quick. Uh-huh, that's what I'm gonna try and do. Except is that our goal, is it to kill him? And all revealed monsters, right? I don't know what our goal is. Our goal, kill the bandit commander and all revealed enemies. I should have used What are the, what is the this. progression of doors? A, B, C, D? I believe so. I don't feel comfortable retconning it. What? Retconning what? Not using this. You're fine. What, because which one did you use? I used this, the two, because you were like, don't use the eight. Use the eight. But I can't reach them. Yeah, use the eight. Use, that's the uh, that's the action you took. I would say use the eight. And you can jump. It's not like you're switching the things. You're using that same action. This door is open now. Mm -hmm. So that was two. Two. Three. What's my range? Three. But that's also the archer range. Yeah. But you have more movements. You would go up, attack, and then move oh, away. No, you, I don't think you, you can can't do stop that. movement. That's we did it last game. 
Okay. Yes, we did. Oh, when questions. When did we do that? I, I absolutely did it twice. Movement, movement, movement. 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 Move. Figures, characters can move through hours, but cannot move through enemies or obstacles, traps, or other terrain effects. Just screen. They cannot interfere with the same race as another figure. Figures can definitely walk through walls. Uh, see above, uh, you can use our new emote, which is a meeple pointing upward. Library in minutes. <laughs> which one? What, what? She said, me too, for feeling extra snarky, but you could have used the meeple this. That is going to get so much use. This, this, this. Thanks, Gormire, for the emotes. I don't know yes. if he's here. He's he around. Is. You have that meeple. Because I think you're gifted a sub. So you should have that meeple if you go into your meep. If you go into your... Uh... Yeah, if you go into your... No, she needs a that meeple. Oh, and oh. then that meeple. Okay. Yeah. So we need this meeple and a that meeple. <laughs> but I was like, that would that meeple be pointing down? And I'm like, that doesn't work because you that have no clue. Because you don't know what's going to happen. Well, take the risk, man. <laughs> well, you can do this with this one and then that with the other arm. Are you disco meeple? This, that, and the other. Sorry, you all. Flying cupcake to... is dangerous. What? Flying cupcake. I think it's a truck. <clears throat> Food truck. Oh. Uh, Rocket Punk, you're going to be at uh, Gen Con, right? Cupcakes to go. I think you saw it before. Cannot be interrupted by the action on the, on the other card. So, no. You you moved illegally last game. So, don't do that anymore. <laughs> I'm better than this game. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so I'm going to attack this guy. Okay. I have to shuffle these, though. Okay. I just remembered. They, we need to flip over cards for them, though, because if they were to go before, they would go immediately. Oh, yeah. Now that they're revealed. So flip over an archer and a boss bandit. 20. I thought the archers, the archers move on the archer. Right, but this The one is, that's already out. No, 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 oh. but this is for the new turn. Gotcha. So 29, so 29, I'm still ahead. So they go after, okay. after Steven. Okay, and the boss is over there. I don't think the boss cards were shuffled unless you did it. Nope. Move below. Move this back up here and put the boss right there. Plus zero. Helpful. Sure. But I am going to use that poison. Sure. Fourteen. So they go, the boss goes now. And it's special too. It interrupts me? Yes. They go as soon as they come out. They technically should have gone. Yeah, well, they go when they go. Well, no, you finish your turn, then it's going to go. I was going to say, it won't interrupt me. I don't think that that's how it goes. We, we just need like to have the creator just video chat in and just answer all questions as we do it. Yeah, sure. Let's, let's get that. What's the guy's name? Isaac uh, Childress. Childress? Childress? If you're out there, he's liked our stuff before. Give me a call. Let's get you on. Hi, yes. Let's see. That's okay. Any order of action? Mm -hmm. I think opening doors, but. Let's try that first. 29. Well, you have to open doors? Is that a section? Two months? I didn't see it. What? I don't think my hair is going to be long enough. All of monsters at the same time take individual turns the same initiative. It's more than one elite monster. Okay, that didn't help me. Some control rights of all monsters will perform the act of its own ability card. No. We're playing Gloomhaven, if you didn't know, from the top of the little screen there. It's muy difficult. Yep, you all just talk to the chat so I can figure this out. So this this countdown is for my last when I when I leave work the day before we leave for Gen Con. 
the beginning of room. I didn't think it was that hot last year in the convention center. I was very comfortable. I mean, there was that time when you decided just to strip in the middle of uh, the convention center. As the revealing characters turn in, the initiative values of all monsters in the new room are reviewed. Okay. So he'll go right after me. Okay. So I'm going to use that. Okay. So that is three against the big guy. Three. And he has 24 total. Yeah. And you get an experience point. Oh, and I get an experience point. And then I'm going to die. Sure. Mm-hmm. Okay, so now he goes, and he's using special number two. You have the booklet, right? Yeah. Because it says his two specials, so what is this? His special's right there. No, summon a living bones. Summon a living bones. Okay, so he doesn't open a door. Yes. That's boss special one. This right. is special, special two. two. So, so all he's he going to do is... is summoning a living bones. Where's it going? For, uh, it's an elite level. I don't know, it doesn't say. I'm guessing it should be in this. I would think it would come out of one of the sarcophagus. Or would it be an adjacent square to him? I don't know. It literally <clears throat> does not say. No, they can't actually be on a thing. It doesn't say. I think right there. Okay. I think it climbs out of the sarcophagus. <laughs> um, he does have a move and an attack as well. Sure. What's his move? Uh, his move is three. Actually, he can move through his own guys. One, two, three. But he has no range. One, two, three. Oh. Okay. And he has an attack of three. He attacks you for three. Hold on. Uh, they also use this deck. Uh -huh. Minus dex. You get attack for one. I was kind of chilly in the uh, live show, but me? Well, you also had, uh, I had Red a Bull. I skirt on and Derek spelled Red Bull on me. Because I didn't think about it being at a bar, and bars typically open the drink for you. So you took one health, and that's the end of his turn. Mm -hmm. All right, it is my turn now. I'm going to move three. One, two, three. I hope it's chilly in the theater because, bro, my Caleb coat is warm. You wearing it to the live show? I thought we were all wearing our costumes to the live show. I don't know. I still have to make mine. Yeah. It's still in pieces. Mm -hmm. Um. Live show was super fun last year. All right, are we going to try to kill this guy first and then do everything else so he can doesn't have to reveal all the monsters? Is that our plan of attack? That was my thought process. The faster we kill him, we are in. He's not going to be able to open up doors to other. Our seats this year are features. two rows in front of where we were last year, which is balcony left. Yeah. But they are such good seats. You it's can a, see it's everything. It's a front balcony. You can see everything. Brian W. Foster sits up there. It's just a joy. All right. Your balcony, right? We can wave at each other. <laughs> From which seat? You had eight. We considered doing VIP and then... Expensive, man. Expensive. It was like, it felt like it was almost twice what it was last year. All I'm right. holding you to that. All right, so I'm going to attack the boss commander. I need to do a flip over one of these. Plus one, awesome. So four, I get an experience point. He takes four more damage. Maybe so. next year. But this year we'll be happy with our seats because they were good seats and we could see really well. <clears throat> like I said, we had Brian that came up there 
and we, Danny was sitting behind us for a while. We all, Ivan yeah, was we up all. There. Matt Key was up there. We all literally, I'll never forget. Whenever, uh, um, oh my gosh, what's his name? Why can't I remember his name? Kari Payton. Kari Payton. When they when they were announcing oh. Kari Payton, I know you and I both looked up at Danny and Brian, and Dan, the look on Danny's face was just like, yeah. <laughs> Kari Payton is such goals. <laughs> I want to be that cool. You done with your turn? Uh, yes. Now he is up to seven damage out of the twenty-four. One, two, three, four. My turn's over. Is that the one that you uh? You choose not to. You, you chose anything? to get the gold or versus extra attack. My movement is only four. I literally can't he do can't, anything. Can't, What's your range? He can't even get three. There. If you went here... He still can't get there. One, one two, two, three, four. Okay. He's four away. All right. Uh, now it is the archers and the living bones. Did our music just talk? Mm-hmm. Okay. Okay. Oh, I never revealed the living bones when they actually came out. So. I was like, oh, gosh. It was 45. Yeah. All right. So... so he's supposed to go before me. So he's going to go. Everybody's going to go now. Okay. So, move of four. Oh, actually, sorry. Archers go first. They have, a, they have 29. They should have gone before. But it doesn't matter. It doesn't I'm staying matter. in the room. Yeah, it doesn't matter. All right. They have a move of zero. They have an attack of negative one. They have a plus one to their range. So, okay, so what's their range? Well, move they down. can move. They can move two. So they can move two closer to us. <coughs> Um, okay. Range is four, so they can hit both dudes. So that one's gonna go for Megan, and this one's gonna go for Steven. No, no it's gonna, that's gonna go for me. Because I went first in a row. Hmm. Yeah, I'm probably gonna die. Okay. Um, but this one has negative one to its attack, so. Is that the card for that? Yep, yeah, this is for the archer. Plus so. one. It's a total of five damage. You can discard a card from your hand to, to negate damage. I can? Yes. Is it negate one of them or all damage from the round? All damage. But from one of them. Sorry. From one of them. Yeah. I'm discarding it, right? No, you discard no, it. No, it's, da- sorry. It's, like it's lost. It's lost. You lose okay. a card. All right, that's fine. Is it one card to do that? It's one card from your hand, lost, to negate one of the damages. So you're negating the three, so you're still going to take the two. I'm confused. Why are they not the same damage? Because this was an elite, and this one is just a regular archer. Okay. <clears throat> All right. Um, and then this guy has a movement one of... One card loss negate one source of damage. Hi, Fenton Crackshell. Welcome to the stream. Fenton Crackshell. What an interesting name. Are you a crab? <laughs> what? Uh, it has a movement of four. Yeah, I think we negated, I think, two... Wait, can I? You negated three. One source. Okay. One source. So you, but so I still lost two. This point, yeah. So that's okay. Because there's two people attacking you. Now this one's also going to attack you, unfortunately. Um, actually, it's going to attack both of us because it can target two people. Correct. Great. Uh, so it's going to attack us with two. Two damage. Three damage. Three damage. You can do it again. I only have one card. Oh. So, well, then you can just you can do the whole. Refresh thing. See that you're dead. What do you mean refresh thing? You take the refresh action. The short rest. It's on here somewhere. That's at the end of the round. Mm. Yeah, we're gonna yeah, go to the end of the round. Rest. Yeah, they're almost. Wor- this is the last guy in the round, so you get rid of that, and you can refresh your deck. No. Yes, yeah. The monsters have to go first, so I would die before I would be able no, to do it. No, this is the last one. This is the last guy that's attacking right you're now. Gonna... I know. I have three health left. But you're going to lose that. Negate this to negate those three damage is what we're saying. But I have nothing to discard. That right there is what you're discarding from your you, hand. You mean to do this thing? You discard one from here, from your discard pile, to the lost pile. And then to refresh, you lose one of your discards to as... here to get the rest of these. Yes. Because as soon as you lost which i can't recover any of these this is just i am not good at this game at all 
because I just wait. That's lost. Slow down because for I, a for, I completely forgot about the option of short rest because I would have been doing that. But it's fine because I should have been paying attention to that. Well, the thing is, anytime you do a short rest, you're going to lose one of your cards. Yes, but I have the ability to recover them, and I'm losing the card that lets me recover my lost cards. Well, you cards. can do that once. Yes, but I'm losing the ability completely yes. to be able to do that. I understand, but it's either that or you're dead. No, and she that's... She two from the discard, so she doesn't... Oh, oh, you can lose two cards from your discard, Fit and Crack Show. You can mm. lose two of these to it's discard the damage that. instead of losing this. I would rather do that. I think it has to be random, which is fine. I wasn't I wasn't arguing with you about when or how many. I was just saying I was losing does it say it be random? my ability to do I, it. I think it just says two cards from your discard pile. Hey, Fenton, does it have to be random? This is literally our second time playing this. You get to pick. I get to pick? Yeah. This is harder than Dungeons and Dragons. I'm just putting it out there. Well, we also have three hours into this. How many hours of Dungeons and Dragons do you have underneath your belt? The first time I played Dungeons and Dragons was as difficult as this. How? But how? But how often? I mean, how many hours of watching Dungeons and Dragons do you have before you play? Before okay. you play? Well, that's true. All right. I just think that it's too much work for very little payout. Well, we don't know that because we've only played it once. But what I'm saying is that so far, it's too much work for the payout. Mm -hmm. All right. So that's the end of the round. Now, if you want to do that short rest, you can. Okay. Doing the short rest. Using one random discard. To get the rest of them back. And I'm I taking I'm taking the three damage. The one. Yep, lost the one that I wanted to have. All right. Is it one random? Yes, it's one random. Use one random discard and okay. cover the rest. Okay. I have three whole cards. It's all good. It's all good. All good. <laughs> you could also lose one health to redraw a random card. Hmm. That's interesting. That's fine. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. I got this. I'm not gonna die this time. <clears throat> I might. Oh, Rocket, there's a cooldown on it. I think it's like 30 seconds or something. That's okay, Miss Valley. Oh. That's okay. Try again now, you should be fine now. Oh. Silver so Knight! Welcome to the neighborhood. Thank you for the follow. Oh, 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 almost an explosion. This <laughs> is I appreciate that you followed through my small meltdown. <laughs> Hey, what's new here? We're Board Game House. We play board games uh, three nights a week, Monday, Wednesdays, and Fridays. On Mondays and Fridays, we play normal board games. And on Wednesdays, we go back and forth between our, playing our homebrew D&D campaign, Three Sheets to the Wind, and we'll be playing, playing right now a legacy game, which is uh, Gloomhaven. Uh, this is our second scenario in Gloomhaven, so we're still very fresh to it. <laughs> uh, we'll get there. By very fresh, we mean failing miserably. We're not failing miserably. We already have that. We already have seven damage done to the uh, main guy. Seven whole damage. He only needs to have twenty-four. Out of twenty-four. <laughs> Which means we're almost a third of the way there. <laughs> if we all just keep focusing him. I'm trying. I'm trying. I'm trying. Like Derek said, this is a lot harder than Dungeons and Dragons. Okay, it's harder. You because can have your own opinion. It's harder. Yes, much better. Um, still not 100%, but pretty close. The problem that I'm having is there's just, there's so much. Like, do you, you always have, like... Well, here you have to play the DM and the characters. Right. It's just, it's just a lot. I like it so far, even though I'm very frustrated. But sometimes those are the best games when you get frustrated. Like I said, if we keep targeting this guy, I think we're going to be fine. And then we just got to kill all these guys until he opens up a door. 
Yeah, that is a that is a concern. Hmm. I'm a panicker. I panic. Oh, wait. That should not have happened. Eight more health back. Oh, that's what that's for? Those little pokey things? Um, you said I did change the follower goal. I did, I did, I did. That's so much better. <laughs> I didn't do what Isaac does anymore. What did you want me to do? That. I didn't think that that's what you wanted. You're having a whole thing in chat about how that little bit doesn't... That doesn't accurately... Correct, because you said it, I did it. That was weeks ago. It was weeks ago. I'm sorry I've been a little sick and busy. That, but I'm talking like weeks ago. I, I'm not... I, whatever. All right, ready? Ready. Wait, I'm sorry. Let me try the right one. Yeah, okay. I'm ready. Okay, I'm ready. Flip. 21. 15. 17. All right, archers. 32. They're going after all of us. Uh, boss. 11. He's going first. <laughs> um, and living bones. 20. So he's going after, he's going right before Megan. So the boss goes first, he's going to summon another Living Bones. How do you know that? Special, special two. Special special two. two. So uh, it's another Elite uh, Special uh, Bones. Correct. Oh, sorry, I have to Okay. It's going to be okay. I'm going to be okay. I'm going to be okay. Fenton Crackshell, welcome to the neighborhood. Thank, Thank you for so the follow. follow. Oh, 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 oh don't give me Okay. Well, oh, buddy. Easy forget rule is that summons don't activate on the turn they are summoned. Oh. Hmm. Gotcha. So this one's not going to. He's out there, but he doesn't get to attack. He doesn't get to attack this round, yeah. which is nice. That's unfortunate. Stuff. The problem is, is that what I want to do, I can't necessarily do. Why? Because I'm trying to. I can't get to this guy. What do you want to do? Wait, I want to attack him. Right, but you can attack two. Would you just right kind here. of trust random people? Not on this the space, but these three. So that's. Fine. I can't. She's in my way. I can't stand in her space. I know, but from your space where you're at right now, you can do this. What? No. Yes, you can. This is the dead one, and these are the three red ones. I have to be standing in the he dead one. That's what that means. One. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah, he has to be standing in that one. Um, well, can I do push one, move three, I guess? Push one? What are you pushing? I push all adjacent enemies one space away from me. To just that skeleton void. Sure. Uh, what am I gonna do what I used to do either? Fuck. I am sorry, I am in the way. Uh. Mm-hmm. This boy's the boss. That boy is the boss. Crap. Well, I think it's very important that you shield Megan. I 
Agreed. Well, shielding, he can only do it to himself. Oh, never mind. That's all well, good. I'm either gonna be way, okay. either way, they're going to attack me because he's going first in the round. Yeah. The only one they, that would have to choose is the one skeleton. Either way, we have to kill everyone. So I am going to. I'm going to be okay. I'm. I'm going to. I'm going to shield bash this boy. What is that? Living skeleton number four or two? Uh, it's a two. Yeah. All right. So they have six health. Let's see what my modifier is. The living bones are going to go for one. Just the one living bone. Minus one. Ah. One, so I do three damage to it. Hello, Aldot! And he moves one space. Ooh. Well, night. So that was number two. Yeah. Moving bones, number two. So he has three damage. So you just need three more before he's dead. Um, and then I'm going to yeah push one, and then I'm going to move here as well. This is my turn. Uh, yeah, I can't get to that guy. That guy. One, gets two, three, solid. four, and then one, two, three spaces away. You heal three. Oh. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Um, we should really talk about this before we start doing stuff. We can't talk about it. No, you can say in general terms. Like, you could have said, I'm going to heal you. Alright, well, it's the Living Bones' turn. Oh, yes. Correct. It is the Living Bones' turn. They have a move of negative two, which they're stuck anyways. Self-heal of two. Attack of plus zero. But now both I'm of them choose you. No, yeah. but only one of them attacks this turn because the one That's was just correct. This one, yeah. So it attacks me and it has an attack of two. And its modifier is negative one. So I'm going to actually use this so it actually makes it zero. So that is the Living Bones. So That's next it. is Megan. It's me. And okay, so hey. since he just healed me all the way, I'm actually going to switch the way that I did this. Okay. Because I was going to do this one. Sure. Why not? Why aren't you doing that one? Because I think it's more important for me to get the heck out of where I am. Hmm. Uh, I don't know about that. I mean, you can still do this and move too. Yeah. But then I don't do any damage. I didn't do any damage. Because if you don't do this, you're going to have to do a rest again. Yeah, and he just said that I could get rid of a health okay. and HP to, up to, you. to take it back. And I can do it the following round. I'm good at health. Have you been hit at all? Hmm? I mean, I'm at eight. I'm good. What's your health? Ten. Ten. I'm good. I agree there. I'm as well. Okay. All right. So. That boss is gone, the only thing left would be archers, and there's two, right? Mm -hmm. They're both shooting at me. Um, let's see what happens. Oh, wait, it's not that card. It's card. Plus zero. So, uh, that's total damage of 
five, but I'm going to lose a card. Lose that card to negate the three, so I only take two. Okay. So that is the end of their turn. Okay. All right, and then I'm going to do short rest, which I lose one random card from my discard pile. Mm -hmm. I wish it was Friday already. Okay. All right. Let's let's fuck this guy up a little bit. What do you guys say? Sure. All right. Reveal our. Not great. And ten. Sixty-nine. Okay. So archers are sixty-eight. Great. Right before you. Awesome. Uh, boss. Thankfully, none of them attack me. Seventeen. So I go before the boss. And living bones. Look, he's. Oh wait, is this actually. Another. Oh crap! We forgot to refresh that last time. Can do it now. Keep well, don't know. Wait, keep, keep 68 that when we just did. Well, that one just flipped over. I know. I'm just. I'm, I know. I was checking to make sure that we hadn't missed another one. Okay. 25. And now they're gonna have one, nine, minus one to their attack, which is nice. I mean, they only hit for one, but they're That's hitting good. two people. Okay. So, like I said, I wanted to. Screw him, so I'm going to move over one to get within range of him, and I'm going to attack for two. I'm sorry, attack for six. Dang. Ow. You done been cursed. Well. Ouch. That sucks. Yeah. That's a terrible one for it to... So I don't do any damage, but I still get two experience points. Okay. I'm gonna move. At least you get to get rid of that, though. And I'll get an experience point for the move. I'm stuck. And I'm flamethrowing these two. With a plus one. So I get two more experience points. Uh, the fire token comes out. And both Skeleton 2 and Archer 6 are on fire. Skeleton 2, Archer 6. Uh, and they take 4 damage. Right, hold on. Skeleton. Wait. Living Bones 2? Yes. Yeah. And what was the other one? Ar the Archer 6. Archer 6. Alright, and they take 4 damage? They each take 4 damage. 
I don't know how much health that living bones has, but that living bones has five total. So, so he's dead. I, sorry, no, sorry. He has six total with that four. That puts much of five, so he's one more damage okay. than is needed. Which he'll get on his turn. Uh, and this one is four damage. Four. Okay, so you said that. Uh, sorry, number six is that an elite? Mm-hmm. Okay. So that guy needs two more damage, and they're going to take one on their turn, correct? Uh, I think it's one. I don't. Uh, Suffer damage at start of turn. Remove when healed. I guess it's a damage. I don't know what it means. One damage. Okay, so that guy's gonna go away, luckily. Number two's gonna go away. So that's all your turn, right? So now everyone else goes. Boss, number two, so he summons another special. Uh, yeah. Well, this one, this boy's gonna die, so. I mean, it doesn't matter. This is a skeleton tin. Okay. All right. So that's skeleton tin. Um, then the boss then moves three. Oh, actually, okay, he's in my me- melee. Yeah. And he attacks three. His modifier is plus two. Oh, no. But. Because I'm wearing my helmet, it becomes a zero. So I take three damage. Okay. So then the archers. Unless I want to negate that damage, is my question. The archers are getting ready to attack too. Uh, which archers? All of the archers? Yeah. Mm-hmm. This one's going to go after you. This one's going to go after Megan. Uh, no. Nope, it's going to go after Steven. Steven. Yeah. All right, so archers are next. Okay, wait, living bones uh, are next. Yeah, living bones first. So he dies. Number two dies. So I need a coin. Are you negating or not? Not for this. I'm going to Oh, buddy. Wait, Sunny and Meta, weren't you all working on a project this evening? Okay, uh, so that was now that was number two die, but number, number one, one attack. Yeah. So right now it is negative one to its attack, mm-hmm. and then whatever this is. There you go, boss. So it's back to two. Yeah, it's at zero. What? The no. modifier is zero. No, it was negative. It was yeah, right. So it's, so it's just two damage. Yeah. I'm gonna take it. I'm at one hit point. What did you make? What were you working on? All right. Uh, so that was that. Next is uh, this goes away because I died. Uh, the archers. Next is the archers. Mm-hmm. And this silly. one takes the damage. That takes the damage. So it's one point of from death. Okay. And then they both shoot at me. Correct. With a modifier of. Negative one. That's rough. If it's, zero. What? If it smells anything like my mom's dog. What do you mean? The modifier is zero because they're plus one. Gotcha. So they both hit. I'm going to have to discard two cards to negate both damages. Awesome. Alive. So that's the end of the round? That is the end of the round. Wait, it's not the end of the round. Oh, oh yeah, you're good to go. Okay. <sighs> okay.
Okay, none of the living bones. No living. Okay, so. She's gonna die in her next turn. Yeah. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna move. One, two, three. Okay. And then I'm going to use this. Fire orbs. Range of three, target three. One, two, one, two, one, two, three. Sure. All three of these, and I'm gonna gain an experience point for each one that I target. Mm -hmm. So all three of them are gonna take, please don't hate me. That's not great, but it's not the worst thing that could happen. These take three. Three. Okay, so the big guy is up to 10 damage out of the 24 that he needs. <laughs> I feel like there's a story there, Rocket. So, big guy's up to 10 damage. And which one does it? So, uh, Archer number 3 takes 3. So he has 1 health left. And Skelly 1. And Skeleton 1 takes 3. Okay. And I get 3 XP. That's the end of the round, right? Yes. yes. What was your other card? Oh, the move. Got you. Derek, did you lose that card that you played? That's mm -hmm. the Napalm one? Yes. No, I lost both of them. Oh. Yeah. Alright. So, we lay down our cards. Everyone reveal. 19. 18. 7. Okay. Archers. Oh, wait. This goes to shuffle back in. Bosses need to shuffle as well. Fifty-two. He actually does things this time. Yeah, but great. it's actually not as bad as it could be. Great, 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 but great. But no special okay. action. Yeah, no special action. Correct. Which is nice. Okay, so I am going to... Oh no. So the archer is going before me. Yes. Okay. Oh no. I'll just go that one. I am dumb. Why are you dumb? I'm gonna be okay. But what are, you, what are you gonna do? I was gonna heal you, but the oh. range is one and you're too far away from me. Okay. You sure? I'll survive. Are you sure? <laughs> sure. <laughs> Okay, well, in that case, then I'll use that to um, move. But for right now, I'm going to attack boss monster. You need to get plus one and an experience point because there's a fire emblem. Yep, yep, yep. Yep. Yeah. Ah, so plus yes. two, so it's at four. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. So you four damage. Four damage to him. I feel like the boss should be in the wound. But again. So he is at 14. Mm -hmm. So we need 10 more damage to him to kill him. Oh, 
you guys move. Uh, yeah. I'm gonna try and get out of the archer's range. Three. I mean, if you get right up on him, he can't shoot you. He has to move away from you to shoot you. He That's did. true. He would still have to... If I move toward him, mm -hmm. then Mr. Bones is gonna come after me. Mm -hmm. But he can't well, share Mr. Bones space. Well, Mr. Bones can come after you anyways. He can't share his space with that guy, so if you move up, he can't come at you. Yeah. But the archer gets to go first, and the archer's gonna move in order to hit me. That's true. Well, he, yeah. He only has a move of one. No, but he won't way. move because he can attack him without moving. The archer? Yeah. Oh, well, that's true. So if you move one, I'm the actually safer can't... if I move closer yes. to them. Correct. Okay. We'll do that. Alright. Um, it is now the archer's turn. Right? Yes. So this yeah. guy is dead. A coin can get. Just one, even though it's an elite. Yep. Okay. Yep. Okay. And then this guy is going to attack. Uh, he creates a damage three trap in an adjacent tile. Who does? The boss? The archer. The archer is. None of them have shield values, do they? It comes on the cards. I'm just going to use this as the... There, that's the trap. Whoa. <laughs> Alright. Um, oh, I'll die. That's it, your turn. Don't. What? No, he starts to attack. Oh. So minus one. Still one damage. Um... Stop it! I gotta do that. That's all I can do. I'm about to beat that, guys. I'm not gonna survive this one, just so you guys know. Oh, no. Alright, uh, but I did that. Alright, well, I mean, I'll try to get at least one more round out of myself. I'm gonna heal two. So I'm at three. And then I'm going to, I can attack, um, I can do a range attack if I want. A range of three. Thanks, Mrs. Valley. <laughs> Should I take out one of the living corpses? You guys oh, are the crap. best! <laughs> they, have a, they have a health of ten? The corpses? Sure do. Oh, let me go. No, I put this on the wrong one. Jesus. Oh, yeah, living we don't bones. have the living corpses. Oh. Not yet. Alright, so I'm Who's going... oldest of the three of us? What's By a long shot. Um. Yeah, I'm the oldest by a long shot. Oh, in the neighborhood? I don't know. Um. I'm going to shoot, I'm going to shoot number one just to kill him so he can't attack anyone. It is an age. <laughs> Three types of people right there. <laughs> Actually, no, never mind. I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to shoot him. I, I'm going to stand my ground. I'm going to actually attack because I can actually just attack two. So I'm going to attack two and attack the big guy. Plus two. Cool. Sure, Eldot, that's so how it works. So, four to the big guy. I just four damage to the big guy. So, he is at 18. So I sound like Spastic Rice Krispies when I get up. <laughs> Alright, it's my turn. I am moving Dosakis. Billy, I don't think you realize how many times you make me actually One physically laugh out loud during the day. And then <laughs> fucking up all three of these guys, and I'm gonna I'm tossing a net over them. <laughs> so which three? These three. They're immobilized. I get three experience, and uh, <laughs> they take damage. yes, uh, two damage. <laughs> two damage to each one. Correct. So Mine's which one is this? It's Archer boss. Number. 
Skeleton tin, an archer, whatever this is. Okay, then this got messed up. Okay, these are supposed to be on number three. Because only there was only two archers out there. So. Yeah, it was this one. So That's how much did they get? Two, you said? Two. Alright, so three is gone. Boom. Hunting bones already went, right? Uh, no. Great. Great, uh, great. So move closer, ten. you're safer there. No, it's immobilized, it can't move. Okay. It can't move. Uh, so, which one, sorry. So, ten gets how many? Two? Two. And uh, they're all immobilized. Oh, and I don't have very good Uh, two, and the boss gets two as well. Mm-hmm. How close are we in the boss? Uh, yeah. Four mm-hmm. points away. Four points away. <laughs> and then one. Oh, never mind. No. All right. Did you immobilize them? Oh, no. Mm, immobilize. It, it, there's, it's removed at the end of their next turn. Do they have to spend their action trying to get out of it? Hmm? Do they have to spend their action trying to get out of it? No, they're immobilized. They just can't move on their turn. But they can still attack. Yeah. Immobilized, immobilized, no, just uh, that one, yeah. I think we're starting to get like a, starting to get a rhythm here. Mm -hmm. Alright, so I am going to... I'm going to do a short rest. Oh wait, no, uh, everybody has to go, the boss and the bones have to go. Bones go first. Not this bones. Oh wait, yes this bones. But he can't move, he's immobilized. He has no range, so he Correct. can't attack. Right. Yay! Still okay. But both this, of them. This Hi, guy Lance. can attack. Mm-hmm. Alright. Um, so number one is going to be attacking me. Mm-hmm. Uh, he has a normal attack of two. And his attack is negative one. No, his attack is zero. Oh, we're doing the bones. So I take two damage, so I'm still up. Still up. But now the boss goes. But... The boss is actually going to attack me, or you. Right. I'm not going to attack him because it's a ranged attack. Oh, oh and you're actually, you're, what was your first number? It was like a seven, right? It's a seven. So it's going to attack you. Well, he, she's closer anyway. It's actually going to attack you, both of us. Oh. Because it can attack two. And no, it would attack me too. Why would it attack I'm 18. You? No, but he's at But he's he would be at disadvantage with you. Gotcha. So it's going to, he's going to attack Derek and I. He's not going to attack you. You live. <laughs> Barely. Okay, so this is for the boss's attack. Minus one, which negative is good. Two. Cool. So negative two to his attack. His attack is only three to begin with, so just one. So one. One point to each of you guys. Woohoo! All right. And that's it. That is it. I am taking a short rest. I am taking a short rest as well. Short this rest. is going to be my last round, guys. After this, Not I if I can help you. No. Oh, you mean literally your last round? Literally my last round. Okay, well, we might be able to do it. There's one random discard, and then Fintan Crackshell said that we could discard an HP to get it back. Is Mm -hmm. that correct? Yeah, you can lose an HP to get one lost card back. Okay. Oh! Because of that? So I'm going to do that. Would you like to do that? I, I, on have, this I have a one HP left. I can't do it. I'm good. Never mind. I got you. I get you. I'm hoping I can go before them. I'm going quickly and I'm hitting. I got you. Well, I, I'm, I'm going to save myself you. a little bit too. What's the health cool. of the but skeletons? I got you early. Uh, the skeletons? So. No, just what's their total? Six. Their total is six. Hi. Logan V? What? Logan V? Logan V. Logan V. Hello. Welcome. Welcome. Welcome to the stream. Also, if you're new out there, we're a board game house. We play board games on the internet for you. We're in the middle of our Gloomhaven campaign. This is only number two for us um, because we alternate 
with D and D on Wednesdays. And on Mondays and Fridays, we play normal war games like things like Ticket to Ride, uh, Carcassonne, at Can. At 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time for all three days. And then Fridays, well, the last Friday of the month, we play Jackbox with the community. Yes. So welcome. BTW, that was the first time I have ever rolled here. Oh, wait, did you roll? I missed it. What did you roll? What did you roll? <laughs> Hello, I'm neighborhood. And it was a seven. Oh. <laughs> Persuasion check. That's okay. I rolled a natural 20 today in the Discord. <laughs> How'd it feel to finally roll one? Ouch. Do you not remember that amazing crit that I had in our home game? I do. Uh-huh. Yo. Man, Rangers with Sharpshooter. Whew. You crit on that man. Woohoo! Uh, Bugbear rogues with assassinate and sneak attack. Yeah, well, some of us didn't know those were options. Number one and two, I've just always really wanted to play with a ranger, so. All right, I'm ready. All right, ready? Flip. 20. 10. 7. Flip them. Flip them. All right, living bones. 20. 20. Okay with that. Okay. Boss, special one. But he's 73. Right. If we can kill him before. If we can before, kill him first, we won't open a door. And I don't want him to open doors because that no. means more scary things. And 68. So we're all going before all of them. Okay, 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 okay. So we got to kill all the right. boss. So. Hey, buddy. Yeah. Heal four. Jeez. And the sun comes out. And the sun comes out. But I can't use it, unfortunately. Which means I don't get this, but. That's fine. Um, so I'm going to attack the boss. Okay, flip over your card. <laughs> he's dead. Did I kill him? Yeah, yeah. he's dead. <laughs> How do you want to do this? Yeah. <sighs> but we still have to kill the other two skeletons. Yes. As well. But boss is dead. Okay. Did you die this time? I actually may survive. I know, you're welcome. <laughs> it's your turn. All right. Um, Ooh, cantrip candles. So I. Are those the ones that have the dice in it? I'm actually, I was going to do something else, but instead I'm going to move two. So I'm going to come up here. And then I am going to attack Living Bones number one, which is. Or should I attack 10 since you're close to this one? Mine's ranged. Can you get all the way to 10 with mm -hmm. your stuff? Okay. You sure? Yeah. With this one? Yeah. No, you can. Oh, okay. Okay, so I'm going to attack number one. <sighs> Please don't screw me over. Hello, Neon Froggy. Yes, I very, very. Damn it! <laughs> okay, I move four. But is he still disarmed? Well, no, because he didn't hit him. He didn't attack him. I stun him. S stun him. I definitely stun him. He is stunned, and he takes two damage. Which and one? Number ten? ten. Ten. Stunned is... He cannot do anything but rest on his turn. Melee. Yes. So... I really love my ranger. He's too... I'm still right. learning with my uh, druid, but... All right, so I landed on that gold, so I get this gold. I'm going to discard... I'm going to lose an energy... I'm going to lose a health to get a card back. I don't think so. Hmm? Why? Oh, Lance, there's a, there's a thing. What? You can use the thing. The, this... Okay, who's next? 20, I, living bones. I thought you could do that. I figured discard a... But it was, it's not your turn, though. Then I would have done this on my turn. Wait, what's happening? You said I could lose a health to get a card back, right? 
Yes, if you lose it. Oh. It's during the discard phase. Like, if you, when you end a round. Gotcha. So, Skelly, so I'm going to die. Skelly's go. Well, no, because you, do you have any cards in your discard pile? No. Yeah, probably. The number one skeleton heals two. They both heal two. Nope. The other one can't act. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's stunned. And stunned. Uh, well, the mobilize it. loses after this time. Oh. Um, his attack is plus zero. So whatever their base, he's attacking you. Uh, two. Yeah. Oh, did Buddy get into something? Um, so only one of them is attacking me though, right? Yes, he can't do anything. Okay, so he attacked me for two. I'm still fine. I still have two health points. But, cool. uh, Archer are dead. I'm done. I can't do anything. The archers are dead. The boss is dead. That's the end of it. Okay. So, boss is dead. So all we have left is the living bones. And now that doors won't be open because he's the only one that could have opened them. Yes, so now it's just you and I. Mm. We can do this. So that comes to me. I die, guys. Well, I didn't necessarily die, die, but uh, archers. I'm gonna put their. I'm gonna try to clear up some of this stuff. What was that? More Doge. Doge, sick Doge. Support bits. Mm. Billy, you have successfully single-handedly filled, filled the, cup. the cup with Doges. <laughs> Thank you, Billy, for the bits. Boss goes away. Living corpses never came out. Okay, so... Number 10 needs 2 damage. Number 1 needs uh, 5 damage. Okay. This gets shuffled back in. Now, we need like we need a sub or a donation so it clears out the whole cup again. Sub is the one. Well, or a do yeah, I guess or a donation. Not, we don't actually need that. I'm just saying to the cup to explode. Explode. I am ready. So am I. Okay, here we go. 17. 20. Skelly boys. Living bones. Skelly boys. 45. All right, so everybody's going to just go first. Sweet, sweet. I am going to move to... And heal one. Cool. And attack number one for two points of damage, and he's poisoned, and the leaf comes out, and the sun moves down. He is poisoned. Correct. Poisoned. That extra damage when attacked. Poison. Oh. Extra damage when attacked and prevents healing. Okay. So, so one more? Yeah. What's that? What? Donated to Doge Dollar. <laughs> a dollar of dogs. <laughs> Thanks for the Free dollars. The puppies. Thank you, Billy. We appreciate it so much. Yes. We really you rock. do. Okay. Thank you. So I am going to fire orbs them both. Oh, nice. Right? They're both three. Yeah, they're both three away from me. Mm -hmm. Please don't hate me. It hates me. Uh, but... Wait, what are you doing? Oh, that means it comes out. Okay. Oh. Yeah. Sorry. So they still get one? Two. They two, two damage. Did either of them die? Uh, actually, they both die. <gasps> Do they? Mm-hmm. Yes! That means I finish this! <laughs> <laughs> so... They both died. Yay! We did it! We did it's not it. over. It's not over. 
Yeah, it is. Yes, no, it's not. Yes, yes, it is. I still have cards. I can still take turns. No, you can't. Once no, everything's as dead. soon as everything's dead, it <gasps> Thank ends. you, Liz. I don't think so. Yes, absolutely. That's what what, we what happened? She 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 bits us with Thank a puffer. You for the bits. A giant puffer. So I can't continue to go. No, yeah, we discussed as soon this last as, time. Yeah, once as, the... Last time we just had no cards left to go. It just happened to work out that way. But yeah, as soon as the... I will check. But I don't think that you can... Because we weren't able to go and get the... We didn't have any cards to do it. I, I think that you all did. I didn't have any cards left when we finished last time. I did not have any cards left either. But I, I'm pretty sure as soon as... Conditions are triggered. The remainder of the round is played out and the scenario ends. It's highly the experience. So the scenario the they receive check marks. Yep. The remainder of the round is played out, which this is to the end of the round. And then the scenario ends. Yeah. We already went. Okay. Shit balls. <clears throat> All right. Okay. So, <clears throat> sifting through the carnage left by the battle, you find a cache at the back of the room containing the scrolls you were hired to collect. You can't help but rifle through them a bit. But find that the writing upon them is in some unknown archaic language. One thing that does jump out at you, however, is a map of the northern countryside. A bend in the Still River is clearly marked as a point of interest. Contemplating whether you want to find out more about this so-called gloom, Where's the, uh... you decide that you that the spot could yeah. be a point of interest for you as well. Number four. I don't know where the map is. cut in half. That's weird. Or maybe it just comes in a few pieces in case you don't get the information. Maybe. But here, if you want to put it down, it's in a few pieces. Okay. You probably put that one in first. Okay, so we know about number four. Oh, that's why. No, she did not. What? Somebody asked if Devin Rue made the map. It's, a, it's on a crease. Ah, smart. They were smart. But that can be forgotten for the moment. You pack up the papers and head to Gloomhaven to collect your reward. Meeting Jixara. Jixara? Is that how you said it? Jixara? Where is it? Jixara. Jixara. Once again at the Sleeping Lion, you hand over the papers and are paid the agreed upon amount. You know, she whispers to you softly into the bustle of the tavern. If you're interested, I may have another job for you. A tribe of Enix in the Dagger Forest has ransacked a couple of my caravans headed to the capital. I told the militia, but they do nothing. She spits. I can point you in the direction of their encampment. If you can make an example of them, I will pay you even more. She places a crude map of the forest on the table and stands up, her jewelry clinking with the movement. Come find me when it's done. Uh, number three. To the Enix encampment. You see it, I don't see it. Ninety-three. Okay, so let's first of all do end of uh, round things. So I gained three experience points, so I'm at seventeen. There's a multiplier. Oh yeah, that's right. Uh, what's the multiplier? I forget what it is. Uh, it's in here. I thought it was a 
I think it's like what times two. Uh, it's showing the rule book. I'm sitting on the rule book. Good for me. Finishing a scenario 33. Would that be it? Yeah. So we received check marks for their characters completed battle goal cards at this time. Did everybody complete theirs? Nope. I did. Because you all had to kill that son of a bitch. Gain seven or fewer experience. Kill one or more elite monsters. Which one did you have? I had to find the treasure chest in door B. Oh, yeah, that wasn't going to happen. I wasn't going to let that happen. Um. Additional perks, page 44. Bonus experience for successfully completing this round. The bonus is equal to four plus twice the scenario level. See scenario level on page fifteen. That's what that's like. So we did scenario level zero. So. So bonus experience is four. Yeah. So we get four bonus experience. So it's so I get three. So I get seven total experience. So I got nine total again. So I'm at eighteen. So two plus seven is twenty-one. How are you doing, Derek? Twenty-five. Nice. And then gold is times two. I have one gold, so I get ten. Huh? Ten? I well, I had eight. Oh, okay. I was so say. I have ten total. I get six. Okay, and then we also get bonus gold because we get yes, but he took the thing. He took the. I believe it's... Plus 10 gold each. Yes, we get 10 gold each and a prosperity. Plus one prosperity. What's prosperity? Prosperity's down here. Oh, yeah. And Which this is our still, second one. Yeah, we still need to get a... Better marker or something. Yeah. Did we get extra gold in the first one? No. Because we... No, this was this, the, was this was the actual finish of the first one. This is the right. worst. So I have 16 gold. I have 20 Ooh. gold. Now, if we want... We can go shopping. We can do Gloomhaven stuff. Yes. I think we should do Gloomhaven stuff. So we can go shopping. So I want to... Can we clean some of this up, though? Yes, absolutely. Okay, because I would really like this to, like, lay flat. Because this is bothering me. Here's this. Is everybody equal on the check marks now? I have two. Okay, every, yeah, everybody has two. Cool. Okay, so, are we going to go shopping? Yeah. So we have all the basic zones, I believe. Yeah. Uh, gotta find them again. Let me double check, let me double check. Going to Gloomhaven. Gloomhaven, visiting Gloomhaven, 43. We can also complete a city event. Oh, yeah, we could. Prosper our prosperity is... One. Two. Hmm? No. Oh, no, it's, it's not. Still it's still one. one. So, so we still have one through 14. Let me find them. New dice height. Hey, cat skills. You all, that is the thing I'm most excited about um, for Gen Con. I'm not gonna lie. Huh. I have at least, probably, probably at least two hundred dollars set aside for dice. Two hundred dollars. Yep. Because I want level up dice and there's a chance that I may want two sets depends okay but in that case then I need another dice ball because I have to have a, a special place for them do we want to do a city event team over here yes okay so first let's do some shopping shopping I'm telling you, I'm obsessed with their amethyst 
and they're watermelon tourmaline and I highly recommend you do it at their booth because they lay out two sets for you and you get to choose which one you want based on all the like special things. And them. they'll do the demonstration for you about how garbage regular plastic dice are. Yeah. Oof. Oh, Meta, that would be amazing. She wants the raised obsidian for the ebony bolt that she won. Mm -hmm. Pretty, pretty, pretty. Okay, so. The obsidian is gorgeous. I have 20 gold. I have 10 gold, well, 16 gold. I am thinking that I'm going to actually buy a healing potion and a... I can only buy one thing. I'm going to buy a healing potion and a stamina potion. Mm, that would be good for you. Because that would be... That would be really good for you. So I'm going to spend all of my gold. Those are discarded cards. I don't care. Okay. I would rather do that. Sure. So... <sighs> I spent my gold. So I'm back to zero gold. Zero gold. But I'm basically already sold. Meta, I'm just saying, you're going to have to get there early. Unless you buy them online, of course. Because honestly, that's probably the first place that I'm going on Thursday, is going to, to, to the level up booth. If they have the obsidian dice. dice again. That's what they're talking about, the obsidian for her oh. ebony dice vault that she won. I, I want obsidian dice so bad. Because I know that they sold out of several things by like the third day, or by, by the, the second day. Yeah. Megan, are you looking at the items? Yeah. I only have 16, so I can only do certain things. I'm spending 10 gold. Uh, we generally get to the convention center about 8 o'clock. Yeah. Spend 10 of your gold to get the uh, stamina potion? Or... We get there, we yeah. hang out. Not at the main doors. Last year we hung out at like the side doors to get in. The main doors are for plebes. Um, because there were already a lot of people lined up there at that main area. Plus so... where we wanted to go, like the places we wanted to go see, were yeah. closer to that door anyways. But yeah, we try and get there around eight, so we're one of the first ones in the door. Sure. Yeah. We'll right. have we'll have a couple small games in our bag. Hey, Pro but... tip: if you have small games at home, put them in a bag, bring them so you can sit and play them, or or buy them there. Or pro pro tip: just buy another small game. We did that too. Uh, Billy, you follow us on social medias, right? Like on Instagram and Twitter and stuff. Small games. We played the crap out of Nessos. Because we'll kind of be posting, like, we'll kind of be keeping people up to date as far as where we're going, what we're doing, and things. So, we'll, like, let people know, like, which door we're at, things like that, so. Yeah. Because we will have, we're going to make con ribbons, so you'll have, like, a little ribbon you wear underneath your badge. Yeah, we're going to get ribbons. I'm really excited. Badge ribbons. So this never goes away. I can collect. But the iron helmet. No. I'm going to buy the helmet. Back to zero two. I'm gonna do the stamina potion. Oh, I need to get rid of these two minus ones for my deck. It said nothing about getting rid of the uh, curses, though. I think you have those in there until. I, I I feel like the only reason it would be cursed is because of. So do you think we can get rid of those now? I don't know. Because I know that you got rid of yours, but we can we can wait until one. the next uh the next thing to It may or may not tell us though. We can figure it out. We'll we'll leave them in there for now and then we'll Okay. Hmm. Okay, so now I have a stamina potion. Alright. So that's that. Okay, I'll take all those back. Are we gonna do a city event? Sure. We got time. We can even do a small game after this. Yeah. Alright, city event time. Derek, would you like to read the city event? Do we, do we just run do we I don't remember how we do the city event? Um, give us a second. 
Page 43. I think you just draw one off the top. Yeah. We shuffled them and then we draw one off the top. Yep, okay. Alright. Don't look at the back because I think the back tells you what the answers are. I don't think I understand. Do we read the no, front? Read the front. Oh. Uh, you find yourself incredibly drunk and gambling away your hard-earned goal at the brown door when a robed woman approaches you. Please, she says, you must help me. They've taken my only daughter, I beg you. She slides a parchment towards you. They left this behind. You look down to see nothing but the symbol of an upside-down blackbird. The raven. Oh, it's a different, it's a different person. The ravens, a man mutters. Bad business. A bouncer approaches. Take that garbage outside, you <coughs> troubling the customers. Option A, leave with the woman to help her find her missing daughter. Option B, refuse to help the woman and go back to gambling. I, I want to help a. her. I want to help her. A, this is totally a trap, but A. <laughs> Once outside, the woman hands you a large pouch of gold. My father said, I had lost the voice. My father saw the whole thing, but then he went mad and ran toward the silent bridge. Please find him and he'll help you find my daughter. Gain 20 collective gold. Unlock Shadows Within, 83. Oh. And we gain the party achievement Bad Business. 83, that's not even on this sheet. <coughs> All right, so. 20 collective gold. 20 collective gold. 83. Bad business. Where is 83? Do we see bad business? Um, do we see 83? Eighty-three, 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 there's eighty-five. There's eighty-two. Eighty-two. Eighty-three. Nope, that's thirty-three. Well, it said it on the bridge, so look near, like, water. So we get 20 collective gold. Yep, I got it. Okay. Well, is there anything else we want to buy as a collective group to have? Do we get to check these off when we finish yes, them? Yes, as we do them, we're supposed to check them off so that way we know which, which ones we've done and which ones we have options to go to next. Okay. We need to get Bad Sharpies. business. <laughs> Bad business. Do you try Bad it? business is here. No, and so we also get the, the banner. Yeah. Party achievement, bad business. It's not on there. Party achievement. That this is a global achievement. So it oh. would be a global achievement. <sighs> Wait. Wait. Achievements. Party. Achievements. Global achievements. Party achievements are tied to specific party and mainly used to keep track of what scenarios we have playing campaign. Oh. You oh, it's down it. here at the bottom. I just write it at the bottom. So what is it? Bad business. Bad business. And then we tear this card up. <laughs> so we tear it up. Why? Because, because we didn't do the last one. Oh my god, it's going to be so much fun. No, it's, it's not. It's really not. I feel like the sound is not. Please don't. Twisting. Please don't. Oh god. You all are funny duds. Right Yay! Now. That's awesome! That's still not right, so it's... We need no more threads in the Discord. There are too many as it is. Alright. Um, so, now we have a couple of things. Where do we want to head next? I know where I want to go. I mean, I think that we should go, we I think we should different go here options. next. No, but that's what we just did. I want to go here next. No, but that's not what we just did. Oh, we couldn't do 83. Yeah. What was it called? You took the card away. Uh, Bad business. Shadows, no. shadows within. Shadows within sounds fun. I also think Crypt of the Damned sounds fun. Well, Crypt of the Damned. 
we now have it marked on our map, which is we do is here up there. So, like I said, we can go back and do these. It's like we just cross those ones we've done. We well, have those like, pieces do, available to us to do. We could do this one uh -huh. without doing a road card. Yes. And then head out to do something to else. To do something else. I feel like that one in town is gonna be relatively simple. <laughs> do we want to say that? No. Not going wood. I say I vote here and then I don't know. I'm a, okay. So I'm afraid to go to Crypt of the Damned right now because it's where the gloom is. I want to go there. I know, but we could get more gold. The game here. is called Gloom Haven. I know. Well, Gloom Haven is the town. I know, but if there's gloom, that has something to do with the town. But we could go here, get more gold, and then to go there. Stock up and then go there. As a character, I do not want to go to the Inix encampment. Because the Enix are going to kick my ass. That's an Enix. Yeah. Look at the Enix. Scourge. Oh, yeah. The Scourge. This is Scourge. I do not want to go there. <laughs> I mean... You have an issue with, like, people? Yes. Get out of here. <laughs> Scourge wants to go to the damned. You are very small. Is small. I am basically the same size as you. Yeah, so... She's tall. She's ready to go. You're just tiny. Tiny little thing. Tiny little, tiny little thing. So, as much as I would like to go and help her father right now, that's a random encounter. I'm not sure if we're ready for it. It could be overpowered for our level. Why? Because the city cards don't take True. into account, but every, but every encounter is leveled. Mm, it's, no. I mean, I'm okay with doing it. Well, wanna, then we can go to the city, we can go to the damned. If you want to, let's, if you want to rescue the dad first, we can't. No, it's fine. You guys just seem to be more... Well, I, no, I was thinking from a logistic standpoint, these are the two options that the game gave us next. Right, but we didn't shuffle the city cards either. Yes, we did. I shuffled them before we started. You're not supposed to shuffle the city cards. Then I didn't shuffle them. I did whatever was in the rule book. Okay. I'm pretty sure I said to shuffle them. I don't think you're supposed to shuffle the city cards. Well, it's a really simple way to find out. Don't read them. No, they're not shuffled. Cool. So it's going to be leveled for us if it's at the beginning of the day. Yeah. Yeah. I don't care to go save the dad. I do not want to go to the Enix encampment. We're going to have to go to the Enix encampment eventually. But I don't want to do it now. All right. Well, then let's go to the. What is this? I mean, my honestly, my Crypt vote is damned. to go save the dad. I think there's going to be rewards and special things that happen there that I think anything that happens here from city cards are only going to bolster us to do things out here. I think it's a good plan to do this and then that. So what... So your issue with the NX campaign is just because they're big people. It's character development. That's not character development. It's also my... Me, my things are all ranged things, and Enix fight up close. So are mine. Mine are all ranged too, mostly. I have a few that aren't, but no, I think there are Enix archers and things as well. Well, I don't know about that. That's just there are some very pointy parts on these. Just saying, the little fingers right here are like real pointy. They're not fingers; it's a crossbow. Well, it's real pointy. Pointy, 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 pointy. Made into a critter. Oh no. Well, let's go. Let's go. Save the girl. Let's go save the girl first. 
Well, we're saving the dad to save the, the girl. The dad to save the girl. Because I feel like we'll be able to get stuff there. And then we can head out. We're not saving the dad. Yeah. The well, dad we have to knows save... the information. Right, we have to save the dad first to find the girl. I thought the girl we was We have taken. to go... The dad was... The dad's lost. Oh. We have to go find the dad. Alright. Well, that's save my vote. That's my vote. And then I say we head to the Crypt of the Damned. Alright. All in favor? Say aye. That was my plan. Sure. You two are the worst. We just agreed. <laughs> I literally said, all those in favor say aye. And neither of you said aye. <laughs> you went, sure. That was my plan. It was Scourge's plan. That wasn't a good was a lot. I can't find it. They ruined all the fun. All the fun. Ruined. Ruined. Ruined fun. All right. All right, it's 9.30. I have I need to talk to me. Hmm? I, I need to sit over here. So you all figure out how to do this. Do well, I'm, are we, well, here's the question. Are we playing a small game? Are we ending? Are we raiding? What do you want to do? I thought we were going to do a small game, but I guess we could raid. Yeah, we raid. We always raid people at the end of the night. I think it would be nice to raid them while they're still doing stuff. Mm. Uh, we could raid Wormwood. We could raid Wormwood. Wormwood or Bored and Drunk? Bored and Drunk is on too. Let's raid Wormwood. They raid us all the time. We've only raided them once. Let's get them back. We've raided Bored and Drunk a couple of times. That's true. So, we're gonna raid That's Wormwood. That's true. We're gonna raid Wormwood. Give ourselves maybe an early night. Yeah, because we're still we're recovering. still recovering. Alright, we're gonna close up real quick. Thank you all so much for joining us. Yeah, so we're going to do a warm way to them. So when you go in there, do the welcome mats and the hugs. Hugs. Uh, and the logos. All the things. Um, and, yeah. Of what course. Putting show show Polly some here. love. Are you putting the figure in there? Okay. Oh. I don't know. Um, yeah, Friday, we actually don't know what we're playing yet. We'll put it in the Discord. We'll put so it on. We'll let you know. Yeah, we'll decide once we raid on Wormwood. And uh, Monday, we are having a guest. Anthony will be back on Monday to play with us one last time before he leaves for LA. Yeah, there we go. Lancelot has the idea. Yeah, we will play we a will good game. We'll be playing a game. Magic Beard Man. Yes, yes. Magic Beard Man. All right. So. Uh, like, like normal, uh, just hang out after we do the, we'll go to the outro, and then we'll all take a warm raid together. Yeah. Even if you're already in that chat, go with the raid, so it looks like we have a lot more people going with us. Because um, I know there's a lot of you guys that have both windows open right now, let's be real. So, go with the raid, so it looks like we have a lot of people going with us. So, Please and thank you. Give, them, give lots of love to uh, Polly from the neighborhood, and uh, we will see you guys on Friday. Friday! Bye, guys. Love each other. We're having a peace. Bye.